It is officially race day. We're here at the UTV World Championship race course Saturday. This afternoon at about 4.30, we're gonna be running the desert car in the pro UTV turbo class. So we're gonna go over some notes with Cash, my 10 year old co-driver here in a few minutes. Uh, got Diego back here. He's just awkwardly following me around. But uh, gonna do some notes, make sure that we're all ready to go. Uh, the Fusion Off-Road boys are getting the car ready, but um, with those Hercules tires, I know she's gonna be ready to rip here. This one right here, sweeping right, is this is the type of title one. This is the one you want to call oh, on this way? Yes. Okay. So just say three right. Okay. So just put three left open. You know what I mean by that? It so opens initially, the, the initial yeah, like, turn the is turn sharp, and then it but opens then it up. opens up. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I'll say open, and if I say open, then you know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah. But I'll try to say open. Yeah, yeah, no worries. So all the numbers are just the corners in the turn? Yeah, so essentially, what is open and what? opens like if you have a corner that isn't like a perfect radius and it, it turns initially sharp and then it seems to open up, that's what I mean. Like you can almost slow your car down, figure out your arc, but then get in the gas sooner because you're gonna have a lot more runoff because it opens up as opposed to having to keep it tight. Sure. So, um, but you know, number one is the tightest corner. Number five is the, is the widest open corner. So. Um, but that's all personal yeah. preference, right? Some people might want yeah, a higher number. Some people get more detailed with it. Some people like degrees. Um, some people just like to know which way the course goes, right or left, <laughs> and then they handle it. But uh, yeah, just just getting like the basic details so that we're not caught out, caught out just in case um, right. you know we come up in something in dust and we can't see, you know. Yeah, got to get the media done. Got to get the PR done. You know, <laughs> the gotta fun get stuff. Those deliverables done. Gotta get the wired fun up, stuff. Man. Oh yeah, part of it. The double. The double. Papa and son, right over there. <laughs> big daddy. Big daddy. This is the big daddy right here. Do you miss the film stuff? Sometimes. It's fun, like it's fun hanging out with these guys, but it's different being that I'm not, you know, working behind the camera and stuff. But Do people even you know. know that about you? Like how you started yeah. off? Like you weren't always racing, you know, you couldn't always afford yeah. a race. Well, not a lot of people know it. Like a lot of people in off-road racing do, but where all the other racing I do, nobody really knows that I produce shows and this is kind of how I made my money to go racing and that's how I funded my amateur career and then when I went pro kind of had to quit this and then focus on um, the real business of racing so it's kind of cool it's just another you know element to my story and but it's nice to come back and hang out with these guys and really appreciate the work that they're doing because I've been there done that and um, you know it's just kind of neat It's been a couple hours, but it's finally race time. Yeah, getting ready to go. It's uh, about time for us to go to grid. It takes a little while to get all these cars ready to go and make sure all the drivers are ready, but I think um, when that time comes, we'll be, we'll be ready. Excited. You need to put on your pumper. You can tape it. Just like run one line, it'll help hold it too. But if we're behind people and they're shooting up mud, we have to put our hands right here so it don't get in the radiator. Oh, Let's yeah. Try and some of the, That's a good idea. Sure. You excited, bud? Yeah. Any nerves? Nothing? nothing. No, nothing. Cool, cool calm, and collective. Nerves of steel. Nope, right. <laughs> nerves of steel.
got this. Yeah, it has like no power. It has power except no turbo. We gotta pull this top one off too, right? Yeah, see, butter, take. Hey. In the box right over there, white box, grab that spring. So we're uh, we're back in the pits for the second time. We uh, initially had a turbo exhaust. So it would kill the power in the car. We tried to fix it with some tape and now we're refixing it. Um, then we had a wheel failure. The tire was fine, but the wheel exploded on the left rear. And uh, Cash and I had to jump out and change it, which was exciting. But uh, now we're just making sure that we're good, filling full of fuel, and we'll go for it again. I know. To the finish. But hey, still made it, right? We made it. There you go. That was rough. That was a long race. <laughs> Super rough. Lot, faced a lot of adversity. Fixed a bunch of stuff and here we are. Eventful. Pretty good. Eventful? Yeah, to say the least. Yeah. Missing the hood. But if anyone out there wants some Will Rogers, race used, piece of memorabilia, they might be giving out the hood later on. Made it. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Will Rogers, man, I know I was watching you guys bomb this course. And you guys look fantastic out there today. Thank you. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we faced a ton of adversity today, but you know, here we are. We finished. My buddy Cash Shalene here did a great job in the right seat, calling all the corners and helping me change tires and change uh, uh, ball joint and all kinds of stuff. So it was, a, it was a heck of a day. Glad to be here. So we're back from the podium. Finished the UTV World Championship. That was a long day. We started fifth row, like 50th, yeah, something like that. First lap. We lost the turbo, like, uh, blow-off valve or something like that. So it put us in, like, a limp mode. So we did the whole lap like that at 50 miles an hour. What's funny is we were passing guys even in limp mode. So that felt pretty good. Getting into the pits, the guys thrashed on it, got it fixed. Uh, then we got to go run for, like, three laps. Is that uh, right? Two was, or three laps? Yeah. And, and then... they said we were running really quick, so that's really good. And then we, like, exploded a left wheel, a left rear wheel. So Cash and I jumped out and uh, fixed it up. And then a few laps went by, and the last lap, literally the last two miles, we broke a heim joint on the right front. And uh, we had to stop for like an hour and fix it. But made it to the finish, limped home. I'm sore. I don't know if you're sore, dude, but I'm beat. Look, Lee, he gets so, to rest, but you dude, gotta get, still race I get tomorrow. I like eight hours of sleep, and I have to jump back in the race car and go get beat up again. So. <laughs> Um, it's all good though, so thanks to Hercules Tire, Lux Bus America, Sparco USA, guys from Fusion Off-Road, killed it brother. Do this again. Yeah, we'll go get him in the morning. For sure. That's a wrap though, see ya.